LSD-325, a refurbished landing ship that took part in the invasion of the beaches of Normandy and D-Day, sailed into Charleston for a Labor Day weekend visit. More than 300 feet long, the ship needed help from a couple of tugboats to turn around in front of the state capitol and return upriver to Haddad Riverfront Park, where it will be docked through Tuesday, open for tours. They built uh, 167 of these ships. The company was called Missouri Valley Bridge and Iron in Evansville. It was a shipyard that eventually employed about 18,000 people. The very first ship, the keel was laid in May 1942. It slipped down the slipways on October 31st, 1942. That was hull number 157. But it, it didn't take them four months to build all of them. By May and June of 1944, the Navy asked Missouri Valley Bridge and Iron to produce eight ships in the month of May, and nine ships in the month of June. And the 18,000 employees of Missouri Valley Bridge and Iron went to work and they built 20 ships during the two month period. And for this, uh, during this period, one of them was hull number 100. And hull number 100, the hull was laid, the keel was laid uh, in late May, and 12 days later, it slipped down the slipways. So they had reduced the time frame of building one of these ships from four months down to 12 days by May and June of 1944.